Good afternoon, and thank you for joining me in another swashbuckling episode of Groovy Van Picker. Well, today is going to be a home improvement episode. <laughs> Alright, so, basically what I'm going to show you how to do today is build yourself a portable collapsible shower in your van, okay? That's collapsible, custom made out of some uh, fence board, a few hinges, and some shower curtains. Oh, this is so easy, even I can do it. <laughs> and... There's multiple ways you, you can do it. This is the way I, I'm, I'm working on. And I've had this rattling around in my head for a while. And I can't really show you all the steps of me doing it because you gotta hold my I gotta hold my camera with one hand. And then, you know, do it with the other hand. But I will give you some, you know, step-by-step -step pretty much instructions on how to make a collapsible interior wash basin plus curtains and plus, you know, what you can use for your shower, okay? There's a number of things you can use. Uh, some people use one of those uh, Home Depot portable spray bottles. If you go that route, make sure you buy a brand new one. You know, don't go out and buy, a, you know, get some Goodwill score because you don't know what the previous owner used it for. Could use it for battery acid. That'd be kind of not so pleasant. So, yeah, if you go the route of a sprayer, make sure you buy yourself a brand new one. They're about 12 bucks at Wally World or Home Depot. Not, not a total bank breaker. Or I can show you how to take a... Two, uh, one gallon water bottle and make a sprayer out of that okay one gallon water bottle and a thumbtack simple and like I said even if you don't want to uh, you know join the van life or whatever what if you're at a swap meet okay and anybody knows if you're hauling a bunch of heavy stuff at a swap meet in the middle of June you get kind of hot and sweaty. So after the swap meet, you know, you got a big old stack of money in your pocket. And you want to hit the buffet. Yet you still want the people around you not to lose their appetite. <laughs> so, that's what you got here. And plus right now, like I said, with the current situation, with a lot of the gyms being closed and whatnot, well, you know, people need to take a shower, I hope. So... Here's one idea, and especially, you know, they got other places, things too, like if you're camped out in the sticks or whatever, but this is for if you're in town, okay, and you want to be, I don't want to use the word stealth camping because, face it, you know, you're not stealth if you're like a buzzsaw breath. <sighs> you know, people hear you from all, all around and... The windows in the next building are rattling. You know, come on. <laughs> You're not stealth. But nonchalant camping is what I call it. Okay? And so you want to be nonchalant. You can't really, like, you know, stand out in the back of your van with a with a cover and, and do that. When you're downtown, you know, you're working or whatnot. So this is one way that you can do an enclosure in your van and still pack it back up when you're done with it. Because, you know, with a van... You only got so much room, it's not like you're living in Taj Mahal. So, anyway, come on and join me. Okay, well, I'm over here at my secret hideout right now. Just picked up uh, a bit of lumber and stuff. And so I'm going to get cracking on the shower at this hour. A lot of power. I'm a pole, you don't even know it. <laughs> so, anywho. Basically, what I'm going to do is build, as I said, I'm going to build a shower for my vans, okay? Because, especially right now, a lot of public showers are closed. Now, I do have one in my, in my motorhome, my secret hideout, but I want to put one in my van. I've been wanting this for years. So, um, 
I got this figured out. It's a pretty good idea. So I will show you how to put a shower in your van. Especially since a lot of people who uh, uh, do van life, you know, utilize uh, gym memberships and stuff. But right now, the current situation, gym members, gyms are closed. So, here we go. Well, the first thing I'm starting out with is some pieces of wood, basically fence board, about like that. So I am wanting to make my uh, my basin roughly 32 inches. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut these at 16 inch pieces. There. And like so. And of course. Like that. And I will cut with this right down this line. Boards will be hinged together just like so. The way this is going to be folded up is alternating. All right. Like that. Okay, you put a hinge on one side, hinge on that side, inside, outside. And then what you have is a framework for a collapsible basin. Perfect. And then of course, when you're done with it, you can just kind of Fold it back up and stash it away. And what we have here, I took a shower curtain. It goes right through the middle. You can either put a drain in it or just dump it out as it is. I'm going to put a drain in mine. That'll drain down a little tank in the side of my uh, uh, Right there you have your basin. Very simple. There. Perfect for a wash basin. You can make it just about any size you want. I'm a larger person, so I want a larger spot. That way I don't get water all over my nice shag carpet. Um, like I said, I'm going to put a drain there. A little tank right there which will also be removable. The thing I'm doing is from the ceiling to the floor, it's gonna be about 54 inches. So, I got some shower curtain for the side. You're gonna probably want about three of them. And I'm gonna cut them down to uh, 54 inches. So yeah, what you do, no, I'm not cutting the shower curtain with my chop saw, or my saw saw, whatever the hell. But it's holding it down, kind of breezy today. I go 54 inches, right there, mark it off, and then you just cut right along there. But I need other hand to do it, so I'm gonna put the camera down. So anyway, that gets the point across. Now, tell you uh, measure your own van before you cut your curtain because your van top might be higher or lower so you know common sense okay, so we're gonna have the inside of my van I have some hooks stashed right up here out of the way so I don't hurt myself on them because those things hurt got one there one there so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna have to put the camera down and just demonstrate like uh, with this here, you know, you can open this up like so. Have 
the framework for your basin in here. And now what you're going to have is a basin with the liner, which is made out of a heavy-duty shower curtain. Now, usually I'm going to have these curtains closed because it'll be a shower, but I just need some light in here. Have the pretty much finished product. As you can see, it's a pretty fair-sized shower enclosure. Which then I can crawl on in here, adjust my curtains, and la 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 la, you got a shower. Here are three very common ways one can do a shower. This one here is a camp shower. You fill it up with water. It's empty right now. And you hang it somewhere. Uh, let the sun heat it up a little bit. Not too much, trust me on that. And then you use this and wash yourself off. This is actually pretty good. It could be feasible in a van if you have a roof vent that's close enough to where your shower is. So... You can run this through your roof vent and take a shower. Only thing is, it's you can't really reach a whole lot. This here is a, also a very common thing. This is your uh, spray pump. You can buy these at Home Depot or anything. And what you do is you pump it up and I've got one of these on there that... Yeah. That's one of the problems with these here is you got to keep pumping at these things to get any pressure out of them. And then finally you get that. Now, one of the ones that I personally have invented for a quick shower, a one-gallon water jug with a whole bunch of little holes that I popped into it using a thumbtack. It's actually the most economical and least cumbersome way to do a quick shower is you take the lid off and you would poke a whole bunch of holes in there with this tack. So it's kind of like a shower head there, you see. And then a little bit of water in there. And there you go, you have a shower. Perfect. And again, that's for a really quick shower, quick hose down, you know. Um, and I've used it a bunch of times, you know, when I didn't have access to a proper shower. And it's also the most economical and easier to handle because you know, gotta mess with this hose and all that kind of good stuff. You just kind of take it and work with that. But there's other ways, too. Some people take and they put, you know, black PVC pipe all up on their van and fill that with water. That's another good way. But these three here are the three that I have actually tried and had good luck with. Okay, well, I hope you uh, got a little bit of wisdom from my uh, homemade uh, van shower. Um, maybe some of you can use my idea. Maybe others can probably improve upon it, you know? This is just kind of rudimentary that I invented and I think it would work. And actually I know it would work. Because like I said, you know, the problem is, especially right now with the uh, current events, um, a lot of stuff is closed. And that unfortunately includes a lot of gyms where a lot of van lifers uh, 
take your showers and you know most motor homes already have a shower in them like mine does but if not it's not the end of the world see there's always a way you can make something happen and again you know if you're living or, or you know camped out in the sticks then you can probably do what some of the other people do you know they open up the back doors and hang a curtain do a shower that way or they even had these camp showers you can buy a wally world for like 40 bucks um those things have been around for as long as i can remember but again if you're in a van that you can't really stand up in, that's not very feasible. Also, if you're uh, camped out in town, like sometimes I'll be, just don't feel like going home or something like that because after work, you know, another feasible thing. You know, you have a bad snowstorm, vehicle breaks down or whatever. You still want to grab a shower, get cleaned off, you know, have some semblance of normalcy in your life. I mean, I can think of a, a, a dozen reasons why you'd want that. Even if you're not into van life at all, even if you're a militant anti-van life person, okay? You know, what if you want to freshen up or something like that? you know, on the road. You don't want to go to a truck stop or, you know, pay a bunch of money at a motel or whatever. There you go. It is feasible. And like I said, I don't, I don't know. It, 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 it seems to me like this uh, COVID thing, they're milking it, in my opinion. Because initially they said they just wanted to flatten the curve. Well, the curve is obviously flattening out. But now they're just adding more and more stipulations before they even allow somebody to go for a walk. Come on, give me a break. All right. Politicians are getting too drunk on their power. I even read one uh, thing where this governor was complaining about the protesters, saying that it's insubordination. Okay. Be careful, governors and government people. Be very careful what you say. Because anything you say can and will be utilized against you on election day. Like saying we're committing insubordination when we question you. That's my little uh, rant for the day that I wanted to throw in. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. If not, there's not a whole lot not to like. And if you have any ideas that might help me improve upon my idea or whatever, you know, I do seek wisdom. All right. Wait.